Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Another day and another drama channel drama. But before we get into all that, I would like to just say a huge thank you. We have hit 1000 subscribers on this channel and I just wanted to give a huge thank you to everybody who has subbed to my channel and shared my content and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's go ahead and get into what all this drama is. So the other day, Tea Time put out a video about the drama channels receiving PR, which is a video that I just uploaded the other day. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. In this video, they talked about what drama channels should receive PR and what drama channels shouldn't. So they said that like Petty Page and Ashley Kyle should receive PR, but channels like Dustin Daly and Nick Snyder should not. And they were kind of on the fence about whether or not Rich Luck should receive PR, Mocha said yes because he does wear a lot of makeup in his videos and Nikki was like no he doesn't really and what he does it doesn't look good. In this video Mocha said that Dustin had been practicing wearing makeup and then showed a picture of Dustin with some pink eye look and she was like yikes. So basically she was saying no it doesn't look good. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, you always just side with Dustin Daly. Um, but I'm actually going to agree with Mocha. Like, was it the best eye look? No. But is Dustin known as somebody who does wear a lot of makeup? No. From what I can remember, and correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but this picture is actually a screenshot from one of his videos where he said, you know what? I'm getting this makeup PR, so I'm going to start playing with it, and I'm going to try to see what I can do with it. And like I said, if I am remembering this correctly, this is like a video from, I don't know, like two years ago, I believe. But I'm pretty sure he said in the video something along the lines to, you know, I'm getting this stuff, so I'm going to try to use it and give you my opinions on it. So that way I can give you an actual opinion on it. So he did that makeup look and put his one of his first looks online. And if you go through a lot of people's older photos, if they haven't deleted them, there are a lot of people who didn't have the best makeup skills when they started with their makeup journey. And obviously, the more that you use the product, you will get better at techniques and knowing how to apply it to your face, to your eyes, because everybody's skin and eye shape and all that stuff is different. Now, I don't think that when Mocha first started doing makeup, I doubt that she was at the level that she is now because everybody starts somewhere and not everybody has the same skill set. So of course the drama community is a relatively smaller community and everything always gets back to everybody. So obviously Dustin saw this and clapped back at Mocha and said, imagine having the audacity to come at me with makeup skills like yours, sis. If you've been following the drama community for a while, you know that Dustin and Tea Time don't have the best relationship. And so when one of them mentions one of the other, they always end up clapping back at each other. And in this instance, since Mocha started talking about makeup skills, Dustin clapped back with makeup skills. But I think that Dustin's clapback failed on this one. Mocha is very talented at makeup, I think, and she has been doing it for a while, I would assume for many more years than Dustin has been ever trying to wear makeup. So of course she's going to be better at it. Again, that's my opinion. You can disagree with me if you like, but I think that the clapback kind of failed a little bit. Somehow this got twisted into Dustin being racist and transphobic when none of that was even mentioned. He literally just said with makeup skills like your sis. So people will always just find a way to try to drag you even further based on what they want to spin the narrative to. I didn't see any comments from him about gender or about race, so I don't know where any of that came from. He literally just said, with makeup skills like your sis. So a lot of people were also like, well, how dare you come for her looks? Well, if somebody comes for your makeup skills when they are talking about you, then you're most likely going to come back with a uh, comeback for their makeup skills when you're talking about them. So uh, to me, it was an equal playing field of a comeback versus an original statement. He wasn't mentioning anything else except for makeup skills. Now, unfortunately, when anybody posts anything online, people are always going to be in the replies saying things that are inappropriate. And there were a few inappropriate statements about Mocha in the replies to Dustin's original tweet. 
Now, I don't condone anybody who is saying anything mean or hurtful or inappropriate towards other people. And Dustin did comment on a couple of those with some gifts and stuff like that. And I don't condone that either. If he wants to do that, that's on him. But I think that replying to comments that are coming for somebody's like looks or saying things that are extremely hurtful towards somebody that it's stuff that just doesn't need to be said, but that's just my opinion. But then they continued on in the video and decided to bring in Jen Gerard of Gerard Cosmetics and Carrie the Nosy Housefrau. And I feel like the reason that they brought those two in is because they are friends with Dustin and Nick and that whole inner circle. Now, Jen has her own makeup company and Dustin, Nick, Rich, and I'm sure there's more that I can't think of right now, all have affiliate codes with Gerard Cosmetics, and Rich also has a collab with Gerard Cosmetics for a setting spray. Now, in this, they started to pretty much just drag Jen and saying that her products were subpar and were made in the basement or had extra setting sprays in the basement and they just slapped Rich's name on it. And the only reason I feel like, in my opinion, that they're dragging Jen into this is because she's friends with them. Yes, they get PR from her, but again, if you watched my previous video about PR, that's public relations for your business and you're trying to get your product into as many people that you feel like would buy it. So if you feel that the people who are watching these channels are going to be buying your product, why would you not send them PR and get your product in front of people who's going to buy it? That's the whole point of PR is to get it into your customer's hands by having other people show it. So yes, she is friends with them, but they have a business relationship as well. And if that is helping her grow her business, then that is her right to send them PR whether or not they wear makeup at all. It's like saying, okay, well, George Foreman has that George Foreman grill, but George Foreman is a boxer. He's not a grill master. Why would he need to um, have a grill? It makes no sense. Why doesn't he have a set of like boxing gloves and a boxing bag or whatever it is that boxers use? So I feel like you have every right to comment on a makeup brand based on like, okay, well, this packaging looks cheap or I don't like the colors of this. But unless you have actually tried the product and been like, you know what, I don't like this, then I don't think that you can call it subpar until you've actually tried it. Like for all you know, it could be some of the best lipstick or setting spray that you've ever used. If you haven't used it, then you can't say that it's subpar until you've actually tried it. And then that brings us to Carrie the Nosy Housefrau and apparently what is now known as Wiggate on Twitter. So they were talking about how her wig looks cheap and all this other stuff. And again, you're coming for somebody's appearance when they weren't even involved in the conversation at this point. Yes, you guys have had issues in the past, but you've drug her into this because she is a friend of Jen Gerard's and all these other drama channels. Now in Tea Times Live, Nikki stated that he does suffer from hair loss and has to take pills for it every day. So he's like, well, I clearly wasn't being rude about it when I said those statements or something like that. And I thought, okay, well, if you suffer from a hair loss condition, how do you not know that maybe somebody who is wearing wigs might not have some kind of condition or health cause that is making them lose their hair? Why do you think it's like, okay, I'm going to make fun of your wigs when you have no idea really what's going on in their life? It, to me, it sounds very hypocritical to say, well, I have a problem and it's fine if I make fun of somebody, even if they have a problem too. So then this blew up on Twitter as well. And people were saying, oh, well, Carrie has cancer or Carrie had cancer or Carrie doesn't have cancer. And somebody even said, well, I need to hear it from Carrie's mouth that she has cancer or she doesn't or what her problem is with her hair loss, or if she has a problem with hair loss. And in my opinion, I don't think she owes that to anybody. If she does or does not have cancer, or if she has a condition like alopecia or some other medical condition, that is her story to share if she wants to, and she doesn't owe that to anybody if she has some kind of condition or not. So for people to say that they owe her an explanation, she does not owe any explanation to anybody 
about any kind of medical condition, if she has one or not. And then they went on to talk about how Carrie has removed herself from the Makeup Geek PR list because of what happened with the copyright strike that Marlena did against another channel. Well, I have reached out to Carrie and she said that she did not remove herself because of the copyright strike. She removed herself because of the doxing that had happened. Yes, was the copyright strike following that still another reason for her to be removed? Yes, but her main reason that she removed herself was because of the doxing that happened. And she actually went on live stream. And if you caught that live stream, she was extremely upset and she was crying in her live stream because she was so emotional. She loves Marlena and Makeup Geek and she was crushed that she had to distance herself from the company because she did not approve of what Marlena had done when she doxed that other channel. They did go on to pay Carrie a nice compliment and say that she is extremely funny. Yes, they might not like her because of actions that she has done in the past, but when somebody's funny, they're funny, which I agree. I love Carrie. I think she's extremely funny. But then they went on and said, well, we don't understand why she gets PR. Like people who get PR should at least be good at makeup. And my whole problem with this statement is the term good at makeup. What exactly does good at makeup mean? Just because a lot of the younger influencers are doing these extreme like full face painting and doing multi-level layer blending and all this stuff. That's not what somebody who is Carrie's age would be doing. And as far as her receiving PR, again, PR is something that a brand wants to get in front of a certain audience because they want to be able to sell a product. And on YouTube, there's not a lot of older women who are in the beauty community, and especially older women who are getting PR. And so if a company sees something in Carrie and they're like, you know what, we want to send you our PR. We want to have more of our makeup in front of your audience because you are drawing in an audience that we don't get from our other influencers then yes, like send her PR. If she's doing just basic everyday wearable looks for women around her age, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a company sending her PR because they want to get that kind of clientele to be able to buy that product. Like that's the whole point of it. So I don't understand why people are like, well, you don't have a big following, so you shouldn't get PR or you're too old to be in the makeup community. You shouldn't be getting PR. Stuff like that is absolutely ridiculous, and it comes down to the company. It is the company's decision who they send PR to. Like, people don't get to request, like, oh my god, send me your PR, look at my numbers. And if they do, the company will turn around and be like, um, no, you're not the kind of clientele that we're looking for, or no, you don't have the kind of reach that we're looking for. A company who's going to be spending their money to send their product to somebody is doing it for a return on investment. So if they don't feel like they are getting a return from a certain influencer, they're not going to A, either send them PR to begin with, or if they do put them on the PR list and people aren't using their code or using their affiliate link to go in and buy product with their link, then they're going to be like, you know what? We sent you our affiliate link or a code, and it's just not bringing in the numbers that we needed it to. So unfortunately, we're going to have to remove you from the list. But that is everything that I have for today's video. So I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you think that Dustin was crossing a line when he clapped back at Mocha? Or do you think that he was in his right to be able to do so since he was just commenting on her makeup and nothing else like people were assuming? Do you think that Mocha's original statement was just some fun little shade that she was trying to throw? Or do you think that she was trying to actually be mean and say like, you know what? You don't deserve this PR. Look at your makeup. What do you think about Tea Time dragging Jen Gerard into the conversation and then calling her products subpar? Do you think that they have the right to do so? Or do you think that they should have to actually try the product before they can comment on the quality? And finally, what do you think about them talking about Carrie's wigs, not knowing if she has some kind of condition or not? and also about her being on PR and saying that basically your makeup skills aren't good enough to be on PR. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and make sure you hit that like button. 
Also, if you are new to my channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon and set all of your notifications to on so you'll be notified of every time that I upload a new video. All right, that's everything for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!